National Labor Commission secured an interlocutory injunction to compel striking members of JUSAC to resume work. According to the Executive Secretary of the Commission, failure of the leadership of the uh, to comply could lead to their dismissal and the leadership of JUSAC also earlier called the bluff of the National Labor Commission. The National Labor Commission was surprised. The leadership of JUSAC defied its directive. The commission directed that JUSAC members should resume work but failed. Despite incessant plea from the Judicial Council and other bodies, JUSAC has refused to back down. Currently, the Labor Commission has secured a court order compelling JUSAC to resume work. Ofosua Samo is Executive Secretary of the Commission. When you fail to comply with a court order, one, by not going to work, you could lose your job. Staying home is illegitimate. Yes, you don't have the right to stay at home when the gym has been at work. So you lose your emoluments in the first place. You lose your job in the second place. And as a failing to comply with an order of a court or the commission, could also have other quiz, 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 criminal, I mean, uh, essential. So that one, yeah. So you have finally secured the Yes, by the Justice Sophia Sewa Buchi. Mm -hmm sitting as a high court judge in financial court too. But the president of JUSAC, Alessinete, has called the bluff of the commission. The commission has the powers of the high court and this is real only when they have a high court endorsing what they think of our action. They can't sit in their office and tell us that what we are doing is illegal. They should go to court to you know, authenticate their assertion. Although the NRC has described the strike as illegal, JUSAC is still not perturbed about the implications. The Labor Commission has warned them to resume work or risk forfeiting their salaries. Engaging an illegal strike, you will not be paid. You will not be paid. And the government, I am sure, will not pay them because the commission, I mean, this time, there are too many illegal strikes. So sitting home, there are people in prisons, who are supposed who are remand and they are supposed to be brought to court to get their freedom because of these strikes all of them are there but president of jusak alessinetti says the commission does not have the mandate to describe their strike as illegal when we are served with any side notice we will treat it within the framework of the law but you, you know that the position of the law currently cites you for contempt who, who says so person. let me tell you legality or illegality of a thing can only be determined by a court of competent jurisdiction. So who are those who are saying that our action is illegal? Joseph has since cautioned the finance minister, Ken Oforiata, to stay away from its conditions of service. So let's just reiterate the news just coming through that the JUSAC strike has been called off. So what that essentially means is that this interlocutory injunction that was secured by the National Labor Commission really wouldn't apply uh, for that matter. But that's the development right now. So we've just been recalling the impact of this JUSAC strike over the last 24 hours. That's the situation as it looks like. The picture didn't look really good. So we'll be bringing you some more updates after this strike has been called on.